This week's rescue of the 33 Chilean miners trapped more than 2,000 feet below the ground for 69 days was big news. The story was the top online news event of the year, topped only by the World Cup, Wimbledon, and Barack Obama's presidential election. The rescue was a huge human events story. It was something that each and every one of us could relate to because it involved people's lives, family, and a compelling story. Watching this story play out over the networks and online got me to thinking. When we try our personal injury and wrongful death cases, we need to make sure that every time we stand before a jury and tell our story, we all need to make sure to talk about life, family, and personal losses. We need to emphasize what's important to each and every one of us and what's important to each and every juror participating in your trial. Sure, you need to cover the boring details relating to special damages and evidentiary foundational issues, but at the same time, you need to focus about 80% of your time and effort talking about the personal loss experienced by your client or your client's family. After all, when you have teenage drivers in the family and your phone rings at 2 a.m. in the morning about an accident, the last thing you think about is how much damage there was to the vehicle or how much the emergency bills are going to cost. What you do think about is how much you love your daughter and whether or not she's okay. You almost instantly think about your relationship with your child and you try not to you know, visualize the disturbing pictures that flash through your mind about what may have happened. In injury and death cases, too many lawyers spend too much time on the unimportant and unpersuasive details of every nickel and dime spent on bills or property damage repair. The good lawyers cover these items quickly and efficiently, but then focus on the harm or loss suffered. They focus on the missed birthdays and holiday dinners. They focus on missed dance recitals and school plays. They focus on missed baseball games and going to church with the family every Sunday morning. Did you see the expressions of the wives and family members, and the miners for that matter, at the moment the miners exited the rescue tube and greeted their families and loved ones? Did you see the tears? Did you notice the laughter? I guarantee you that during the time those miners spent 69 days deep beneath the earth, the last thing they were thinking about was paying bills or going to work. I guarantee you they were thinking about their family and their loved ones and how much each and every one of them could have spent more time and shown more interest and affection to those they cared about. You know, that's what's important to most of us. That's what's important to your jurors. It's all about family, love, friends, and health. These same things are what is important to your jury during a trial. So talk to your jurors about these issues. Show them your family. Show them the lost love, the lost health, and the harm your clients have experienced because of the other side's wrongful conduct. Do this and your jury will understand and appreciate your efforts during the trial. Do this and your jury will pay attention to your case and at the right time step up and do the right thing when rendering their verdict. Use this approach and deliver this approach from the heart and I can guarantee you that after the trial your jury will, will greet both you and your client out in the hallway with the same expressions and the same emotions that you saw on the faces of those rescued miners when they greeted their rescuers. If you like this trial tips blog post, please feel free to share it with your, with your friends or any other trial lawyers who you feel may benefit from it. Also, please make sure to subscribe to our free RSS or email blog feeds at triallawyertips.com. I like subscribing using the email box because that way each morning when I come into work, all of the different websites and blogs that I subscribe to 
the latest content is conveniently located in my email inbox. You don't even have to go back to the blogs. That's a really cool way of subscribing to blogs. Once again, feel free to share your comments or questions with us. Uh, if there's any particular subject areas with respect to uh, jury trials that you'd like us to cover, give us a call, shoot us an email. All our contact information is at triallawyertips.com. We can also be found at our main website at www.jacksonwilson.com. Well, once again, thanks for your time, and remember to always make today your masterpiece and remind your family and friends to do the same.